kukuja kesho nikafika kwa nyumba hai nikaona shine 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 na metens alafu anataka kulia nikamwambia ni nini shine akaniambia mama amenembea atanisema atanisema then nikaona ikiwa funny sana nikamuliza atakusema aje sasa mm-hmm. mama yake akaniambia eh shine hata ile chupa ulimletea jana na nimekuwa nikimletea kila anavunja tu hiyo siku mama yake akaniambia shine aliniambia ah uh, nilimwambia ndamsema maana alivunja ile chupa ya jana i think i was like shine kwa nini ukavunja chupa i apologized yeah. And I can also apologize. I will keep on apologizing because I didn't meant sikuwa na maanisha ni muumize mtoto ama ni muumize mafanzi wangu ama mwananchi asikia kwamba kasoro ni mtu mbaya mimi ni mtu mmeokoka and I'm sorry. Now a few weeks ago the video of Steven Kasolo surfaced online where he was threatening to kill his child. Now a lot of people went online and complained some supported him but today on this episode of Tuko Talks I am here to set the record straight with him maybe he can tell us whether the video was taken out of context my name is Anya Thira and this is Tuko Talks karibu sana Steve asante mimi unaendelea je nzuri sana yeah aha uh-huh. yeah uko salama okay Steve I know we are here to talk about the video that was trending a couple of weeks ago mm. but before that I want Kenyans to understand Steve ni nani? Okay. Mimi Steve ni mimi ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo za kumtukuza Mungu. Mm-hmm. Nimeelewa katika familia ambayo inamcha Mungu na mamangu, mamangu alifariki nikiwa class class 1. Lakini mamangu alikuwa mwalimu wa Sunday school. So katika ule msingi mamangu ambaye aliendelea nilipenda nili, nili sana kuendeleza kukaa katika Kikristo, kumpendeza Mungu. Na hapo ndipo Mungu akanipa neema ya kufanya nyimbo za za injili. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Story yangu ni brave kidogo. Okay, ni sawa tu we have all the time and you know mm-hmm. I, when you were talking earlier when you niambia that cuz nilikuita vernacular artist eh. and then you're like no yeah. I'm a gospel artist. Mtu akiniambia eh, mimi si vernacular cuz sasa hivi ukiangalia kuna mbango nimetoa unaitwa take over. Uko na 1 million views. Mm-hmm. Uh, for for four months umegonga million a million views. Mm-hmm. So mtu akiniambia I'm a vernacular eh, I feel like it's una ni limit. Mm-hmm. So, Nilibaliza kuniliacha kuimba kikamba sana. So God has given me favor. I'm doing mix na mix Kiswahili, mm-hmm. kikamba and I'm not complaining. And that. that's nice at least yeah. ndioweze ku attract a wider audience exactly. na weze ku spread the word to yeah. bigger platform wale ambao yeah. pia ambao sijawafikia katika lugha ya mama. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mimi nilikuwa tu kijana ambaye kama si neema ya Mungu kunifikisha hapa mimi kama si sasa ku, ku Mungu kunisaidia singefika. Mamangu chani kupata story yangu kidogo mamangu alikufa 2002 my dad 2005 mm-hmm. my sister 2009 our second born akapata na wazimu so i was left with my our first born mimi na kijana kingine ambao ni nakafata i'm the last born ah mm-hmm. uh, ilipo happen evil uh, mimi niliona maisha imekuwa gumu, gumu nikatorokea Mombasa pale nikawa nina nikawa tu ni kama chokola tuseme tu Mombasa but uh, siku moja hivi tu nikachukuliwa na familia fulani wakasema watanilea wakanilea nikafika class 7 class 8 nikapita vizuri but siku manage kwenda shule mzuri maana mm-hmm. sikuwa na mtu akonipeleka shule nzu. nzuri nzuri i'm trying to cut the story short niko na story mrefu mm-hmm. wakati mama yetu alituacha pale nyumbani tulibaki na auntie yetu alafu alikuwa anatutesa alikuwa na maybe hata na alikuwa anapewa watoto wake chakula maybe sisi tunakosa lakini mimi nilijikaza sana nilijua kuna siku Mungu atanikumbuka mm-hmm. pale kuna familia iliona mimi na vile ninasumbuka ikani adopt wakanisomesha class 7. Bale nilipomaliza class 8 nikaenda form 1 wakanisomesha mpaka form 2 na wakaacha. Mm-hmm. But nikatia bidii na nikawa naimba sana live music, nika perform Malik Girls nikawa form 1. Nikawa form 1 hapo nilipoimba Malik Girls watu walijitolea wakatolea fee ikalipwa mpaka form 4. Mhm. So via talent nilipomaliza form 4 nilitamani kuimba sasa ndo nikafanya harambe DC mm-hmm. wako alikuwa anaitwa Mr. Wafula akaita watu wakanifanyia harambe hapo ndipo nikarekodi maisha yangu ikawa mzuri but nikiwa mdogo nilipitia changamoto kubwa sana maana mm-hmm. ndipo nilipoteza jicho moja mm-hmm. what happened watu wanasemanga nilipigwa wengine wanasemanga nilidungwa unajua nilikuwa mtoto mm-hmm. i can't recall well but nasikianga wengine wananiambia niliangukia waya Yeah. Ni kweli na Steve ningetaka sasa tuongee about the video. Mm. Tell us about it na how did it come online? Ya yeah, mtoto. Yeah. Okay. Mimi na mtoto wangu ni marafiki sana. Na mtoto wangu tumekuwa tukiact to videos tunaweka kwa chat. Ako na channel kubwa. Mm-hmm. Channel yake kuna 22,000 people. So, 
uh, iyo siku nilikuja kwa nyumba. Ah, ah, the day before iyo day, I had nilimletea chupa, chupa ya maji. Mm-hmm. Then nikawambia ita hundi, chupa mzuri sana. Na nikawambia dress. Nikawambia, hii dress, nataka utavaa siku ya anapenda sana makuwa kuwatch wedding show. Nikawambia hii oh. utavaa alafu utahati kama uko kwa wedding show. Tumunuweko tukia active tumingi na ee. Channel yake deto shine kasolo. Mm-hmm. So, kukuja kesho, nikafika kwa nyumba. Hai, nikawana shine, shine, shine ametens. Alafu, anataka kulia, nikawamza, ni nini shine? Anganambia, mama menembea tanise, atanisema. Then nikaona ikiwa funny sana. Nikamuliza atakusema aje sasa. Mm-hmm. Mamaka kanaambia Aisha ina ta ile chupa ulimletea jana. Na nimekuwa nikimletea kila anavunja tu. Hiyo siku mamaka kanaambia Aisha aliniambia ah nilimwambia ndamsema maana alivunja ile chupa ya jana. I think I was like Aisha ni kwa nini kuvunja chupa? Aisha ni kusikia babake tu amenimbigo. I mean Javili kalisema dadi nakupenda. Oh. Unaona mm-hmm. sasa Aisha in our family from my grandmother Mukwenze. Watu walikuwa wanamjua sana. Sisi ni watu break haraka sana tunapenda kulia mm-hmm. sana sana mtoto wangu naye anatumia nganja ya kulia kujitete kujitete asiye akamwambia daddy i love you akaanza kulia so mimi i found it funny nikamwambia mamake ni record hii story na ni record hii, hii kitu nataka vile tumekuwa tukipost video zangu na shine mm-hmm. tukicheza hata hii nataka tu post watu yani niliona ikiwa funny kwangu unajua sasa mamake akachukua kamera mm-hmm. tuko na shine kwa kiti sasa nikataka kuanza ile story sasa nikataka nikataka ndio ni record unajua sasa ile impression ya kwanza imepita sasa nikamwambia shine ulifanya nini akaniambia nilivunja chupa daddy i love you na sasa mimi nikawa naona iko funny cause in our family tumekuwa tukikuweko tukicheza mm-hmm. sasa maybe mali nilienda behind mali nilimwambia na kunyonga mm-hmm. but i didn't mean it unaona nilimwambia with a lot of love eh ala vile nilikuwa ni kunyo anaelewa inga Mm-hmm. Nikaona like sound funny to me but I love her so much mm-hmm. na si mimi na mama yake tunajua it was a joke okay. na tunapenda mtoto wetu sana kuna wale watu ambao waliona hiyo video mm. na wakaenda pale social media mm. wako wa complaining walikuwa na hashtag wakanya, DCI wakanya, eh. you know walikuwa na hashtag hata mm. wewe na kutag mm. let me ask you do you feel hiyo video ilikuwa taken out of context watu hawakuelewa mm. for one i have one kid niko na mtoto mmoja na mto ingekuwa ni kitu sema for example ingekuwa ni kitu ilionekana kwa CCTV camera watu wangesema maybe hii ni kitu ulifanya kumfanyia mtoto vibaya but this is something that was taken with my phone we were friendly atukujua kama inaweza leta shida na kama ingekuwa kitu mbaya singe mimi ndo nilipload kwa channel yake mm-hmm. then a friend of mine akachukua akaanza complain hata angeniambia Steve hii kitu inaweza leta shida toa wait 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 una mm. Steve uh, Kasolo unamaanisha ni rafiki yako imagine a friend of mine from Rolongo ni kama wale watu mnakaa nao naona ni kama ni rafiki lakini mtu anaku anaku ako na intention mbaya bali alipigia na mbesti hivi kitu mimi nimeona ki sound vibaya itoe alichukua akaika kwa page yake facebook na akaandika kasolo is threatening to kill the baby then i was like sasa mimi nikawa naona kitu facebook watu wanacommend na nauliza hii page ni nani ningemwambia mm. atoe kitambo kwa sababu vile niliona watu wameanza comment negative nilianza ai kumbe ni kitu kumbe ni kitu mbaya Wewe ni rafiki ambaye anakujua na anajua mtoto wako. Imagine wako. mtu ambaye tumegrow na yeye. Mpaka nilimwandikia nikamwambia sijui kama moyo wangu utawahi kuwa na raha na yeye. Mm. Niliona ajabu. Unajua nilitafuta namba yake mpaka nikuja kupata namba kwa page yake. Kupiga ile namba. Unajua mimi sijui ni nani. Mm. Kuklik hivi tu ikaleta jina yake. Then nikampigia, "Bro, kwa nini unafanya kitu kama hii manze?" Ha, akaniambia acha nitoe. Akitoa shisha enda nini viral. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, "Ah, rafiki Unajua angeniambia bro mimi kitu nimeona ikiwa funny na ezalta shida ama i sound vizuri ningeitoa. Mm. Cuz mimi nilikuwa nadhani tu ni kitu ya kawaii kawaida. Na alafu alienda aka edit. Unajua ile after ile video nilienda nikaletea mtoto wangu juice kuna juice nilikuwa nimebeletea kutoka kwa, kwa gari na kuna toys nilikuwa nimebebea. Imagine huyu jamaa alienda akachukua hiyo video vizuri. Unajua kwa YouTube nilikuwa nimeweka content yote. Alikata. Aliweka tu ipati ana kunyonga. Mhm. But haina shida. Mimi have no problem. Bibi leo nasema kwamba Judge ah wacheni watu wa wajudge but don't be judge. Eh? Bibi kikamba ndio sound vizuri. Si ni nimo tasilileka. Wewe tu mtaweteka. Yaani mm-hmm. wacheni msemwe lakini msisemeke. Mm-hmm. So long as in my heart I know that I had not bad intention towards my baby. Ata saitu kwa marafiki we have no issue. Na ingekuwa ni kitu mbaya mama yake angekubali kitu kama hii. We were we were in our family we were in our house. Mm-hmm. But but I forgive I forgive that friend of mine. Mimi sina shida na yeye. Na jai dunia iko na mambo mengi. Na wenye wanaongea wengine 
wako na watoto na bibi hizo hizi vitu happen by sister acha nikwambie mimi nimeelewa kuambiwa na shosho na kunyonga nishaifungwa na shosho kwa kamba pale nje nilikosa akanifunga na kwa kamu TV akaniambia haya wakamba wengi tumeelewa kuchoma unawekwa makaratasi kwa mikono mm-hmm. na zinahakishwa mm-hmm. uki, uki, ukichukua kama square vitu kama hizo ukifanya vitu za ujinga mm-hmm. ulikuwa unachoma na makaratasi mm-hmm. kwetu haikuwa big deal but now now because the, the world has changed yeah era yenye tunaishi saa hii mm-hmm. watoto ni kama watakuwa wana, mtoto anakosa unamwangalia na unajua pia mambo yamebadilika eh. na sasa ndio isionekane ni kama una validate whatever happened because i know kitambo mm. watu walikuwa wanapigwa hata si shule ile tulikuwa tunapigwa eh. but now things have changed kwa watoto hawapigwi so the fact that you're saying that people maybe are going to see that una validate whatever happened like wewe kuambia mtoto mm. utamnyonga what do mm. you say about that uh, okay i apologize yeah and i can also apologize i will keep on apologizing because i didn't meant sikwa na maanisha ni muumize wa mtoto ama ni umize mafanzi wangu ama mwananchi asikia kwamba kasoro ni mtu mbaya mimi ni mtu umeokoka and i'm sorry mtu ukosa biblia inasema kwamba um, uh, wakati unaomba msama unasamewa from mm. the bottom part of your heart i prayed to god nikamwambia mungu hiki ni kitu sikwa na na expect it happen na maybe Biblia inasema kwamba kila jambo utaendeka kwa kuleta wema. Mimi nimesoma kupitia hii kitu. Mm-hmm. We learn from uh, experience. Yeah. Mimi nililearn. Nikalearn ya kwamba eh hey, kumbe siku hizi world ime change. Uweze ambia mtoto vitu kama hizo, mm-hmm. siku hizi watoto hawapigwi. So I apologize to all my fans again and again. I feel sorry. Mtoto wangu ajua kwamba nampenda. Siku yenye atapatana na hii video maybe ajua kwamba daddy loves me. Na hii kitu mm-hmm. ilihappen tu ba bele by, by the way. Watu waliamplify sana. Na wengine walikuwa na amplify my sister ni kwambia wameacha watoto wao shags. Wameachia wazazi wao watoto. They don't take care of them. Au wanatocha watoto zaidi. Na maana watu waliona hii kitu maybe ni kitu kubwa sana. Uh, mimi naomba Mungu awasaulishe hii kitu. Okay. Na I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I love Shine. She's my best. Hata ndio angalia channel yake. And she's a beautiful daughter. She is. Very beautiful. Ndio maana mtoto wangu na dress expensively. I better ni better ni vae nguo uh, ya pesa kidogo lakini mtoto wangu avae kama Malkia. Maana mimi nimelelewa kwa shida. Avae tu vizuri. Ukiangalia nguo za mtoto wangu sana kwa online, mm-hmm. anavaa nguo za taki. Na ninazinunua pesa nyingi sana pale town. Sana. Dress ikienda chini ya mtoto wangu 8000 wanauza pesa mingi lakini napenda maana ni kitu ambacho itamtoa mtoto wako vile yuko unajua yule ni mayai lazima umtunze yule mm-hmm. ni brand shayan kasolo wazee watu waende wamfollow mm-hmm. waone vile mtoto wangu namtunza okay page yake ni ama channel yake anaitwa shayan kasolo kila mahali facebook kila mahali twi nini twi aje aje ingia kwa instagram facebook na youtube mm-hmm. na watu wanakapenda sana na mtoto wangu ananipenda sana sana hata sasa hivi nikapiga simu tutasikia anaambia daddy kwa mafrafiki sana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Na Kasolo nataka tuongee kuhusu about familia yako mm-hmm. wakati hiyo video ilitoka eh. muli kwa affected as we na bibi yako because no people are just saying nasty things eh. on, online uh, wengine for... kuna wale walikuwa na support ndio mm-hmm. eh. lakini kuna wale wenye walikuwa na ku attack. Mm-hmm. How did that affect your family? Oh uh, we were okay we, we we went through some to live scare the buyer as a family because we didn't intend we didn't expect our family to be discussed negatively. Our aim was vile tumekuwa tukiomba Mungu ni kwamba siku moja tuone kila wakati tuone watu wakitongea vizuri. So we we prayed. Alafu bibi yangu ama msichana wangu sasa mwenye mama ya Shine. Mm. Ni mtoto wa bishop. So aliniambia we should pray in the attack ya shetani and we prayed. Tuliomba. And before then, a week before nilipigiwa simu na prophet anaitwa prophet Bahati akaniambia Steve ninaona kuna vita itainuka sana katika mitandao na utapigwa sana batomba Mungu atakuondeshea. So when it came nilimuelezea mama ya mtoto tukaomba tuka na tuka u, 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 watu walifanya to keep mtoto close sana. Mm-hmm. Tukaanza hata kuogopa we, we tuka, 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 tuka insecure na mtoto wetu. Unajua adui anaweza chukua nafasi wakati mtoto anaangalia hivyo atafute kumfanyia mtoto vibaya. Yeah. We prayed. Na walitusaidia maana tuliomba zaidi. We went deep to prayers. Tukaambia Mungu, maana hili jambo limekuja la kutuumiza, wacha likae likatuletea wema. And to us it ilituletea wema. After that nilianza ku launch siasa zangu kitui. Watu walijai hivi. We have no issue. Mm-hmm. We are Biblia inasema when God is on our side, who can be against us? Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa watu wananiambia usifanye event ya kitui, kifanya watu watakuja, mm-hmm. watu wamekuchukulia vibaya nikamwambia mimi niko na Mungu. Mungu anajua moyo wangu, sikuwa na issue tukaenda tukafanya event watu wataka wakati wa embrace na mimi mimi nitashinda hiyo election mm-hmm. na kuambia andika mali what do you mean umesema you launched your political I launched event. my uh, manifesto on Saturday unabai for na vai for MC ya kitu ulango word aha uh-huh. yeah and i'm telling you the truth 9th of uh, august 
utakuja hapa tu tufanye interview. Mm-hmm. Lakini sitakuwa kwa nyumba nitakuwa kwa nyumba kubwa. Biblia inasema kwamba mm-hmm. ulimi ni kalamu a uh, Psalms 45. Ukin, utakachosema kinafanyika. Ukisema ukimaanisha that is. Mm-hmm. Ndio maana yale maneno niliongea sababu ya mtoto wangu nilia cancel tena. Nilienda nikakanso katika anga, nikakanso katika ardhi, nikiomba naambia Mungu nafuta katika anga, nafuta katika spiritual realm na mimi najua maneno yana nguvu. Ninaandika kwamba mendo August nitashinda. Okay. Mm. Na Steve, I want us to talk about the video again. Mm. Wale watu ambao wali wali kuribiku. kuna wale wali kuribiku, but with good intentions exactly. na kuna wale wenye like I said before what they were nasty about it like haikuwa criticism ya yeah. like you need to change about this or you need mm. to improve and all kuna that wale walikuwa nasema nafaa nifungwe nafaa ni wawe ulikuwa unasikiaje uki ukisoma hizo vitu unajua Yesu Yesu alipitia vitu kama zile wakati alikuwa duniani Yesu alikataliwa my sister kupendwa na mwanadamu na kupendwa na Mungu heri ukapendwa na Mungu maana mm-hmm. Mungu anakujali sana. Mwanadamu atakupenda leo tu kesho atabadilika. Mimi nilisikia vibaya lakini mimi najua ninapendwa na Mungu. Sasa mtu ananitukana God has blessed me. Mimi ni yatima niliacha nikiwa katoka dogo. Na ukiangalia maisha yangu sasa inaendesha gari mzuri na kama maisha mzuri God has blessed me. Hata mtu akinitukana si heri kutukana na mwanadamu na kupendwa na Mungu. Mimi hainijalishi Chenye kinanijalisha ni uhusiano wangu na Mungu. Tukoaje na Mungu, mtoto wangu akoje na Mungu, familia yangu ikoaje na Mungu. Wanadamu atakusema, atakuumiza. Niliona wakati kuna rafiki yangu Reverend Natasha kuna wakati alitukana na watu. And I went to the media, nikaongea nika na watu, nika nikamtetea. So, wanadamu atakuumiza, Mungu atabaki na wewe. Kuna wakati utafika ukae na Mungu kaburini peke yako. Unaona? Mm. So, a time like that, niliona tu hawa ni watu wanaongea after all hawanipatii chakula. No. Mm-hmm. Na nikaenda nika apologize sababu ya ile these are my fans i'm sorry mwenye hataki kunisamee wewe usinisamee god has forgiven me wenye ananisamee we cope up with this journey unajua mtu ambaye anakuchukia hata ukimletea blue band na mkate na umpakii vizuri na, na jam na vitu zote hata kupenda but mtu ambaye anakupenda atakwambia um, be encouraged i thank uh, mr burare aliniandikia ali akaniambia uh, steve i know you are going through hell but do you know that god loves you more than people nikamwambia yeah akaniambia move on with your journey hivyo tu Move on with your journey. Pastors wengi waliniambia Steve what you said it was wrong my yeah. son. But since you've repented move on with your journey. Love your God. Make your your, your ways uh, right with God. Even that my sister we keep on repent. Maisha tunaishi ya ku repent. Mungu si tunaishi kwa sababu ya neema. Leo hii ukiamka hivi ulifanya dhambi mingi sana kuangalia, kutamani vitu kama hizo, kuchukia. Lakini unapompenda Mungu move on with your journey. Endelea na maisha. Mm-hmm there is god mm-hmm. na kuna wakati utakufa ukae na Mungu peke yako mkoa wili na wale watu watakusaidia siku moja kasolo atakuja kuona hiyo video mm. nataka tu umwambie kitu cuz i know eh. she might stumble on that video okay utamwambia nini nataka kumwambia mtoto wangu hivi ukiona hiyo video enda uangalie kuna video zingine nilichukua nayo nikiwa nayo malindi kuna zingine nilichukua nayo kwa ndege kuna zingine nilichukua nayo nilikuwa nakubeba na kutuza kama ningekuachilia watu ungechomeka na jua ukufa lakini nilikutunza. Huo urembo wako, angalia una spot kwa uso. It's your dad. I made an effort kukuona unakaa hivyo. Nimekuchunga, nimekuajiria wafanyikazi ambao wamekutunza. Nimetumia nime, nime, nime resources zangu kukufanya vile ulivyo. Angalia vile unavaa nguo nzuri. Ukiwa mdogo, it's my effort. Na nilikuwa shule, bado niko shule. And God's blessing. Imagine God has blessed us. Na niambie shahini hata ukua, ukua kwa tumbo nilikuwa nakuombea ndio apiga magoti na shika tumbo na nashika hiyo mimba hivi naambia Mungu huyu mtoto wangu na muombea azaliwa akiwa safe so don't focus on the negative part of it na hata it's negative we were joking in our family mm-hmm. i was with your mom and we love you so much may you prosper in jesus name na muombea afanikiwe mtoto wangu atafanikiwa hata hizi vitu hata hata mtoto wangu atakuwa katika royal family mm-hmm. eh yeah, mtoto wangu atajipata hata 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 kuwa na, na time ya kuangalia negativity atakuwa anaona dad is my best mm-hmm. hivyo tu okay to your fans utawaambia nini my fans i'm sorry uh, wale mliumia i'm sorry manzi mimi nawapenda i'm i'm like this because of the grace of god and my fans so my fans wale mliumia i'm sorry sikuwa na intent kufanya kitu kama hii watu ufanya watu joke mpaka una, unajipata una overdo mm-hmm. so i'm sorry if niliwaumiza in any in any way i'm sorry may the lord give you grace to forgive me may the lord give you grace to cope with my muse, mi, ministry and then kusupport ministry yangu oneni mimi kama as a vessel ni oneni mimi ni chombo tu chombo kinaweza vunjika mm-hmm. lakini we ndo mwenyewe kiunde make me what you want mm-hmm. see me yani in your mind 
angalia ile kasoro ambayo ungetamani akue na uniombe. Ah, perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Na wale walinitukana naweza mwambia kwamba Mungu awasamee. Maana mjui mliofanya. Mimi I was very innocent. You didn't dig deep to my story to know what happened. Mm. And I'm sorry also, forgive me. Yeah. It's okay. all about forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Tunaishi sababu ya msama. Ni kweli. Mm. Na kosa ni kurudia, kosa, kosa ni kurudia. I'm mm. trying kwanza squeeze nita, ni, mtoto wangu nitamspoil sasa. <laughs> eh, mtoto wangu napenda <laughs> kama kama ni kapenda kabisa. Ona. Mhm. Wakati akiwa first akiwa aki celebrate birthday yake ya kwanza nilibaya gari ya 1.2 billion. No. Mm-hmm. Last last year nimemfanyia bathi worth 700,000. Siku wana watu wakiongelea hiyo. Ni vizuri tujifunze kuongelea mambo mazuri. Tusifocus na ubaya. Sometimes hata mtu akikufanyia kitu kibaya, ona ule uzuri alikutenda alafu mwambie fulani. I'm sorry. Ule nifanyie uzuri siku moja. Mm-hmm. Tusifocus na mambo mabaya. So, mtoto wangu nampenda. She's my best. Na mimi niko na mtoto mzuri sana. Anaitwa Shanika Solo enda umwangalie pale YouTube. Mm-hmm. Shanika Solo. Ni mzuri. Ule mtoto hata huwezi fikiria kumuua. Hata yaani huwezi huwezi huwezi. Wacha watu wache. Watu watu wache hizo story za ku amplify jumba ya. Amplify the good thing. Sasa hivi nimetoa wimbo unaitwa Mimi na nyumba yangu. Una trend. Sisi wana watu wakipost. Mhm. Walipost ile maana walikuwa walikuwa nataka kuona downfall yangu. No, you can never see my downfall. Maana mimi niliitwa na Mungu. Mungu amenilea nikiwa mtoto mdogo. Mungu ameninacha. Ningekuwa ni wazazi singefika hapa. But because of God I'm here. So, enda ufokuze mambo mazuri ya Kasolo. If you don't want to see Kasolo progressing, then leave him alone. Niache na Mungu. God knows my destiny. Okay. Ivo tu. Ah, uh, what are your current projects ama what are your future plans? Um, sasa niko na album na, na ninawakia on, endelea ku shoot na itakuwa itakuwa kazi nzuri sana. Kwa hivyo watu waendelee kuongoja pale YouTube. Mm-hmm. Sikuizi atuuze muziki kwa duka. So watu waendelee kunisupport pale wa subscribe channel yangu Steven Kasolo. Mm-hmm. I have songs like uh, Success na Take Over mm-hmm. za Kiswahili. Niko na nyimbo mingi nimefanya. Na huu wimbo ni wimbo wa Success unasema kwamba ya kale amepita na kesho yetu yaja. Wachana na walio kuumiza. Success is the best revenge on earth. Mm-hmm. So muamini Mungu akufanikisha. So watu waendelee kuongoja kazi mingi. Maana this is a ministry. Na watu wengi wako wamekoa kisema nikiingia siasa nitaacha ministry ya uimbaji. This is a calling. Siezi acha. Nitakuwa mm-hmm. nafanya bado niki nikiendelea na siasa. Aya. Very good. Mm-hmm. Umesema utakuwa kiendelea na mm-hmm. uimbaji. Na unajua mm-hmm. mtu akiingia siasa mm-hmm. that's a different field kasolo. Mm-hmm. Like utapata there are so many things that happen there. Mm-hmm. Like kuna something that tunatukana na pale, unaona. How are you going to juggle the two? But you know in Kenya we have uh, we have t- tunachukua siasa kama kitu mbaya mm. when you read romans chapter 13 inasema kwamba leadership inatoka kwa god mimi leadership yangu si ya matusi ama nini mimi nimeenda pale kusaidia mwananchi nimeenda pale kutengeneza miswada ambayo itasaidia watu wangu mimi sina wakati wa mtu akinitukana si utukane tu mm-hmm. mimi niko pale kufanya kazi ambayo nimeitiwa mm-hmm. ni i'm there to serve people who have elected me so uh, na kwa bunge nitakuwa naingia i think three times per week bungeni so niko na siku zingine chache za kufanya kazi zangu nitafanyia mwananchi hizo siku tatu itakuwa nasengeza miswada na itakuwa natenga siku hata kama ni moja ya kufanya project zangu cuz i have a talent itakuwa mm-hmm. naimba na shoot watu watafurahia sana so unasema ukiendelea na siasa bado muziki utakuwa tena zaidi kwanza siku nyenye nitachaguliwa Mungu akinisaidia mm. nitakuwa na cha wimbo mpya mm. wa kushukuru watu okay yeah. kasolo na you have a huge huge fan base in Kenya yeah. but kuna wale ambao maybe watakuwa for the first time mm. wanaweza kupata wapi Uh, Facebook naitwa Steven Kasolo Kitole niko na 328,000 followers. Uh, Instagram niko na 45,000 naitwa steven.kasolo. Mm-hmm. Twitter at Steven Kasolo. Uh, YouTube ndio main sasa maana ndio iko na content yangu yote. Steven Kasolo watu wa subscribe channel yangu wanikuze katika ministry na Mungu awabariki sana. Watakuwa wanasaidia ku, kukuza kukuza kueneza neno la Bwana. Na pia nimeimba nyimbo kwa collab mingi sana na Rose Muhando. Mhm. Nimeimba na Rose Muhando, nimeimba na Madam Waipaja, nimeimba na Solomon mkubwa. Nimeimba na Waisani wakubwa wakubwa. Kwa hivyo hizo nyimbo zote ziko kwa channel yangu. Waende wa watch na Mungu awabariki. Na pia wasisahau channel ya mtoto wangu. Maana mtoto anataka kumtengenezea brand in future, atakuwa mbaja ama atakuwa mtu mkubwa. Okay, na kuna wale watu ambao wanasema pale on social media that squeeze wasanii wana create watoto wao YouTube channel na mm. all that to create content yani wanatumia watoto wao kutengeneza pesa watu kama hao tawaambia nini okay i want to advise those people mm. biblia inasema kwamba baba mwerevu umwachia mtoto wake urithi unaona leo hii ni kafa shine anapata platform yake ambayo imetengenezwa na baba ambaye atakanyaga it's good watoto wetu wakue katika hizi limelight kwa sababu kuna wakati mtoto wangu alichukuliwa na kampuni fulani ya ya nguo ya mango na mtoto wangu akana account yake sahi 
atajisomesha mhm mtoto wangu ata aki grow hata kuwa na shida ya pesa ati lazima atumie pesa yangu she has own na account yake ni ni zinaitwaje hizi hii uwezi toa pesa mm. it's a trust fund eh ambayo mm. ambayo channel yake i, i, kama iko na pesa inapatikana kwa channel yake itaingia kwa channel yake direct kwa kwa account yake me i have my own i normally work hard i don't depend on shine, shines whatever so ni kumbrand kumtengenezea tu brand ukienda celebrities zengi wanatengenezea wale watoto wao brand bana mtoto wa celeb atakuwa celeb na kukuja kuanza from the scratch itakuwa ngumu. Mm. Hadi apate mahali ataendeleza. So it's not a si kitu mbaya. Na kama unaona kitu mbaya enda utengenezee wako. Si ni kitu ya free. Mtengenezee mtoto wako. It's good my dear. Hata mm-hmm. ukipata katoto anza kuka brand. Mkatengenezee. It's good. Mm. Okay sawa sawa. Yeah. Kama mimi vile sahi nimefika hapa ningepata wazazi wangu walianza kuni brand kwa mdogo. Si ningekuwa mtu mkubwa sana. But branding haiko wakati wetu. Eh hey, ulikuwa mchango <laughs> wakati wetu. Hapo anajua by <laughs> I know mm. a lot of things in change with technology and mm. I'm so happy to hear that you know I had sikwa nimefikiria hivyo venye unasema like come create yeah. your brand. Hey. Una, when I saw such comments that celebrities want to take advantage of their daughters and then now uh, their daughters and sons are now hearing your perspective mm. that's very important. Na pia hata wakateka advantage. Mm. Leo kama unalisha mtoto na unamtunza na unatumia pesa hata ukiteka advantage yake upate pesa kuna ubaya gani? Mm-hmm. Na ni mtoto wako. Salonga so zinikitu am I Muhammad So watu wasichukulie ma celebrity kama ni kitu mbaya. Tuache tuseme ni wana build ya watoto wao brand tu. Na hiyo mtoto atakuja kufurahia. Very important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, like as Kasolo I'm so happy that tumenipa your time hapa mimi na mm. my team director Shiro pale mm. tumekuja hey. na tume set the record straight because I remember when I was calling you that's what I wanted. Hey. And I told you if you feel like the the story was taken out of context, I know Kenyans had not the right but they were feeling that these words are too heavy for a I young know. child but i love the fact that umekubali ulikosea and you umeomba msamaha si ndio and mm. now we move forward mm. and i wish you all the best on your campaign mm. i hope tutakuja hapa kufanya another interview Lazima. but thank you so much yeah. thank you thank you thank you i really appreciate you for Yemina, that mimi nakushukuru pia umekuwa na bidii sana mm-hmm. kongole sana ningekuwa mimi ndo mkubwa hiyo kampuni ningekupa debe ningekuongeza oh, maana you really struggle to look for me mm-hmm. umekuwa nikipigia na kupatia na kuairisha una invest I still have hope that we are going to meet. Mm-hmm. So may the Lord take you to high heights. Thank you. May you never lack in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for your clean heart. Au kwenda ukajaji ukaanza ku vlog vitu zako ukasema nimeona mtu anaua mtoto. Mm. You just took your time to come and listen to me. Mm-hmm. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you too Amen. and thank you so much Karibu. to you our Tuko family. Thank you so much for joining today's episode. Till next time, let's keep it Tuko Talks. <laughs>